हरे कृष्णा कल की मूवी मेकिंग सेंस विद भगवत गीता दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वेर आई विल एड्रेस स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स डिपिक्टेड इन दैट मूवी इन द प्रीवियस मूवी आई टॉक अबाउट हाउ इफ देर आर कॉन्कॉक्शन डन देन इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द ट्रेडिशन टीचर्स टू एड्रेस दैम प्रॉपरली एंड कन्वे द राइट कंसेप्शन बेस्ड ऑन स्क्रिप्चर and the traditions wisdom so today i'll address three main issues the first of course is the issue of kalki now here it is depicted that ashwatthama was cursed by krishna that he would have to wander alone till the time when he would save a future avatar of vishnu and then he would be relieved from the curse now the the cursing of ashwatthama is an incident mentioned in multiple places in the mahabharata also in the bhagavatam also and this is definitely not mentioned uh, that way in the, these books now in the bhavishya puran in some versions something similar is mentioned the in the bhavishya puran is often a much uh, touted book it, our traditions acharyas have been quite sparing in quoting it and it's almost widely understood that there are interpolations in that book so that central prophecy of ashwatthama's curse being relieved by being able to save a child that might seem poetically attractive but its scriptural basis is questionable this does not make it a terrible thing as i had mentioned that in artistic license some things can be done and overall ashwatthama was a noble person and uh, although he was attached to trying to prove himself to be the greatest archer and better than arjuna apart from that he respected arjuna as a rival and he had no animosity against the pandavas per se but it was after drona was killed and after duryodhana told drona uh, told him that the pandavas had killed drona in a cold blooded conspiracy which was a complete distortion because actually it was dushtadyumna's individual act of anger and cold blooded hatred that led to him lopping off the head of dusha duryodhan of duryodhanacharya when he was meditating and arjuna chided him chastised him for it and there was almost like a civil war broke out among the pandavas after that action yes the pandavas had schemed to tell you the tell through yudhishthir a lie to drona by which drona would lay his arms down but the subsequent plan was to arrest him and put him in a house arrest so that uh, he would not obstruct them in their victory and drona himself had started using celestial weapons against the uh, against ordinary soldiers which is like using in today's world using nuclear weapons in an ordinary war it was completely against the laws of war and that's why drona had to be stopped by emergency means so so the point here is that uh, when ashwatthama was informed that by misinformed by duryodhan that the pandavas in a cold blooded conspiracy tried to and actually executed in the murder of his father that's when he turned bitter and became vengeful and that's when he eventually he killed the pandava's sons he committed a nice night massacre and he tried to kill the as boom the child prakshit in the womb of uttara so the point here is that ashwatthama did get misled and why am i talking about all this this is because ashwatthama's character has been depicted in a particular way and one of the major erroneous things that are depicted over here is that ashwatthama and karna had a great friendship but that is not true at all it came from both ways that karna felt that drona had not accepted him in his gurukul and he felt that drona is partial to the pandavas and that's why Kar there was no affection in drona's in karna's heart for drona and when karna would try to boast about his powers both bhishma and drona would try to bring him down to earth 
and because of this karana would feel that i am being minimized and there are times when karana would minimize drona and especially at one time during the war when karana tried to minimize drona it was unbearable for ashwatthama and ashwatthama lashed out at karana and there was almost again a fight that broke out between them this especially happened uh, at the time when jayadrath was killed on the 14th day by arjuna that was a devastating loss it was not just a loss of military forces so many soldiers were mowed down by arjuna as he raced towards jayadrath but it was also a morale shattering and shameful debacle for the kauravas that their entire army including all their maharathas couldn't stop one arjuna so at that time karna lashed out at drona's incompetence and ashwatthama was enraged and he came to the defense of his father so there are other instances also uh, well there was never a fight but there was no love lost between the two of them so the depiction that karna and ashwatthama were both great friends friends is definitely a concoction that is at significant variance with what the mahabharat storyline and overall relational dynamics also would indicate now both of them did fight on the side of duryodhan but it was completely out of different reasons drona felt obligated to the kuru kingdom which had provided him the place and the facility for establishing his gurukul and that's why he fought on their side and because his father fought on that side father and son had a thick bond drona and ashwatthama it bordered and sometimes a bit of a unhealthy attachment but ashwatthama also fought on the side of the of the kauravas now drona had affection for his son naturally drona had affection for arjuna because such a such a great student and ashwatthama felt challenged and even threatened and usurped in his position of affection from his father because of arjuna's expertise so there was some rivalry among them but the rivalry was not enmity ashwatthama wanted to be a better warrior but it was not enmity that he didn't want to destroy arjuna so the kind of relationship between karna and arjuna that was there was not rivalry it was enmity karna wanted to prove his greatness by destroying arjuna so the relation reason i am saying this although they were both on the same side they were not great friends and there were time when their differences of opinion were quite severe now lastly the depiction of arjuna is often done wrongly in popular culture and especially this is done arjuna is put down portrayed as arrogant uh, to glorify or to empathize with karna now if we look at the overall character there is not one incident when arjuna has ever minimized women he has always been a protector of women whereas karna very heinously minimizes women first of all in the in the asat sabhaya in the gambling match when he suggests that draupadi be disrobed and at that time he says a woman who has five husbands uh, uh, she is already like a prostitute the more men she has with she, she will enjoy having more, even more men now and there's nothing wrong in disrobing her hmm? so he that was a heinous accusation against draupadi because it not the, not that draupadi had gone out of her way to seek five husbands it was a higher arrangement by which this had happened and also towards the end when he had a difference of opinion between shal yeah his charioteer and himself at that time he not only criticized shal yeah he started criticizing his province and the people of his province and even the women of his province again karna had his virtues but the point is that if warrior kshatriyas are defined by their capacity to protect those who are innocent then who then it's important about protecting women and Arjuna was a far better protector of women than Karna was and Karna repeatedly spoke negatively terribly negatively about women 
So that negative portrayal of Arjuna is also mistaken. So broadly, in the Kalki movie, there is a positivity in the sense that the characters and the storyline from the Vedic tradition, from the Mahabharata is brought into the public mind of the masses. But the specifics are problematic. And of course, this is not an exhaustive list of the specifics. And I don't want to be a, to sound totally critical. It is good that such depictions are happening. But the more aligned they are, the better it is. Thank you. Hare Krishna.